For too long, we endured war for the sake of war. We championed selfish causes for misguided leaders. We wasted countless lives for nothing. But now, we must rise together as one for a greater purpose. By fighting together, we can end this chaos. Join me. Dedicate your lives to the glory of our race. It is time for the noble High Flora to lead Grandis into a new age. I thought I was fighting for something greater than myself. For peace. But I soon discovered it was just more greed and hate. No longer would I blindly obey the whims of a corrupt leader. Instead, I would fight alongside the weak and defend them. I thought if enough of us stood together, we could make a difference. It may have been treason, but I knew it was the right choice. If I could help stop the madness, it would be worth it. If there were ever a time to put my life on the line for a cause, it was then. If I fell in battle fighting for something I truly believed in, even if no one knew my name or what I did for them, I would be satisfied. After all, it was never about the glory. But fate had other plans for me. I did all I could, but it wasn't enough. Maybe it was always meant to end this way. Or maybe it was just me. Is this how it ends? Ark!
Hello YouTube, this is Server Puppy Love and welcome to Maple Story. And yes, this is kind of a random video, but I really wanted to make a video on this class because I really like the first 30 levels and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I already done it already, but I decided to create another character to show it off. And and the disclaimer, I am not going to do all the quest, just the ones around the first 30, 40 levels because well, I don't have the time to actually level up to 100 in a day just to record it all. And recording this game is kind of a pain because it's more difficult to handle. Well, lately. Before it wasn't, but because of the audio levels changing a lot, I have to change it up a bit, so... Yeah. And, of course, since this is the second art character I made, um... This isn't a permanent character I'm playing around with. And also, I'm playing this on Barra because I'm saving all the slots on Scania for every class in the game. And that's mostly it. So anyways, let's continue. And I'm not reading the dialogue because the dialogue kind of goes fast. And I kind of and I apologize for skipping one um, dialogue by accident. I... yeah. I'll let you guys read it. Okay. Basically like a little tutorial here. So, not important dialogue. Okay. So, let's go put this on here. I also changed up the quick slots because this is my default layout for them. And, uh, gonna put it on, on the slot study. I put it on during, um, actually on the character I played. The, you know what I mean. I'm confusing myself. And also I'm trying to not talk so loud because there's family home, so... It's kind of awkward right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. Arc. He's part of the High Flora race, and of course, as you can tell, um, um, he's corrupted. I, it kind of says it in the description anyway, so you know. Oh gosh. And also, it's a bit laggy, so don't mind it. And also, I know the sound effects are loud. It's because the voice dialogue is actually connected to it, so... Yeah. It was kind of a mistake of mine in the very... When I first played this class, because... I could barely hear, like, the first half of the story because I, I wasn't adjusting the levels correctly. I destroyed the more the darkness consumed me it hadn't always been a part of me had it it was such a strange feeling it was taking full control of my body it was terrifying yet I couldn't resist such intoxicating power I was torn between a desire to protect the innocent and a thirst for carnage. As the two warred within me, all I could do was cry out. Ah
Even if it wasn't obvious, yes, he's corrupted by, like, a specter. And, um, yeah, we kind of saw that at the very beginning. So that explains his arm and, you know, and his heterochromia, like, because two different eyes. It's kind of awkward that I'm not reading the dialogue, but it's like... Lately, I don't feel like reading dialogue. And, like I said, there's people in the house, so it's kind of awkward. I should have done this tomorrow, but I didn't want to. And also, Ark is a precious bean. As you can tell from his eye, like, sprites and all that. Like, he's just so adorable. <laughs> his name without like butchering it a bit. <laughs> you can tell. But that's probably because of the recording software, honestly. <laughs> but anyway, um, Ark is part of the high floor race, and of course, he did something to, um, yeah, to be half Spectre. And of course, the floor race is kind of new to Maple Story. It still is, even though it's been over a year now since Helium was released. And Helium is part of the floor race, except because of like some like lore explained in a uh, webcomic, I think, or something. And I'm lagging so much. Like it explains that like the race is split in two for with the Vernon Flora and the High Flora. And I like how when Ark was first introduced, I immediately guessed he was a like had to be part of the High Flora because it it just made sense. And of course I'm gonna get this guy to show up because for some reason I don't know why. And I can't disable it. But still he's such a precious bean, I wanna protect him. fast to level up between, um, well, not really between, more like it's kind of easy to level up up to, like, level 40. But of course, knowing me, I usually take my time, so. 
that's also what I find weird about this game. It's like, a lot of people can play this, like, level up to 200 relatively fast. And then, and then you have me, and I can't level that quickly. Because I always find, like, I'm always, like, stopped in the middle of the road every single time. And also, to date, I only have one character who's over level 200. I, I don't have a second character yet. Anyways, more story. Over the time being, it's just, um, gathering quest, and then we'll get more of the story. Okay then. Oh yeah, and also like, um, since this is during an event, like, before like June twenty eighth, um, you could uh, you could create a an art character like. I just realized it add my skills. Like you were able to create an art character and get bonuses. And of course, since this is on. Um, since I already created it once, I already got all the rewards on that, um, thingy. So, um, yeah. And I know I stutter a lot. Don't judge me. And yes, this thing right here, um... It doesn't make any use until... the second job advancement. Also, the game's lagging because, as you can tell, there's a lot of sand effect on the screen. And it can't be helped because my laptop's not that powerful. Well, lately it's starting to not be as powerful as I thought because it's running a lag even more lately. But thankfully, I plan to get a new computer soon, so... Yeah. I should be able to make more Let's Plays and actually have time. Actually, my reason for not having time is because I'm busy lately, so... And also, I'm trying to work on this project of mine that is, um... Still in the works. I'm trying to draw all the characters out at once, and it's getting extremely ridiculous. Especially when I'm trying to draw a picture per month, but I already missed that opportunity. Uh, nah. It doesn't matter. And yes, um, my main server in this, in MapleStory, that I usually play on is Scania. And I know, like, you people are like, eh, because, you know, Vera is the most populated regular server. But to be fair, I can't really transfer all my characters on here, and that's too much work. And also, because of lag, that's mostly why it's a good thing I'm still on Scania, because there's so many players on here. And also, I know I haven't been making videos on MapleStory lately, because I'm busy and I kind of lost interest, so... And I'm mostly streaming MapleStory too. Well, the closed beta right now, but... The second one hasn't started yet, as of this recording and video. For now, it's just like, small quest here and there. It's not really a lot yet. We're not at the very story parts yet.
stats. Come on. Welcome to the lag. Excellent. And also, um, yeah. And also, I'm curious about who Ark's voice actor is because he sounds like this character, but um, I don't want to say I don't want to say it for sure because I don't want to guess and be extremely wrong about what I'm saying. Because he sounds familiar, but even if I say like my prediction. I don't want to, like, assume, because, you know. Mainly because, like, whenever I make a theory and if I'm extremely wrong, it's just, like, it gets awkward and I'm like, oh. Well then. Come on, boot. Ah, struggle. And thankfully, I disabled screenshots because, because uh, like when it's on auto mode, it kind of fills up your Maple Story folder or desktop or wherever you put it in. Because I remember, like, I did not know that until I saw a post on Tumblr like ages ago, and I'm like, oh, so that's why it lags here and there. Come on, loot. Okay, and now it's quiet again because I don't know what to talk about. I'm trying to fill in the gaps while when I'm not reading the dialogue. Although half the time, I'm starting to think that I should have read the dialogue, but I'm ready this far, so you know, like it's it it can be good practice because um. I'm trying to be a voice actor, and I want to get my voices ready, because, uh, yeah. And of course, it's gonna take time. And also, I don't even have the time to, like, get, like, do anything like that, because I'm busy lately. Anyways, um, let's continue. And yes, this is basically the video of rambling and showing off the first 34, I mean, 30, 40-ish levels of arc. Yeah. Part of me actually wants to go back with Ilium and Kadena and play through there. First 30, 40 levels, but I'm kind of lazy. So, just art for now. I don't like it when the dialogue is automatic like that because because it's like you start missing some dialogue pieces and that's kind of disappointing. Which is kind of why I'm clicking the dialogue bubble so the text shows up faster. Like before it disappears.
Yes, small thing. I will gather these items for you. Also, my favorite expression, like, from Ark is the one when he's so confused because he's like, aw, he, he's just so adorable. You know, he's probably like, I don't know. Oh yeah, and also, like, the floor rates are long... Ah, wow. Okay, this happened, and I did not expect it to happen. Great. Um... Why am I in specter mode, randomly? So, this happened... <laughs> Honestly, this had never happened yet. Like, during the first job advancement, so this is awkward. Please tell me it's automatic, because that would not be good. There we go. Okay. So it does hit. Okay. I was a little confused because I was like, that never happened, and I usually disable it with a skill that you get during the second job advancement. So. Okay then. I never knew that could happen because I've played Ark for like several levels now, and I usually use the second job skills. Well, second job above skills because there is like three skills that could put Ark in um, Spectre mode. sending rookies like us into the field. They must really be hurting on the front lines. I guess you can't be picky about troops when you lose. But I'm not going to complain. It got us to an elite base that much faster. Yeah, we're finally taking a big step forward. Now we'll be able to make a difference. Soldiers, forever sworn to bring peace to Grandis. We're ready. Let's get moving. Yes, yes Brigadier General, General sir. sir! See you at the base. Any advice, sir? You're good soldiers. I'm sure you'll be fine. For victory! Glory to the flora! Brigadier General Limbo. He's done so much good. That could be me one day. <laughs> Sucking up to the boss already, huh? What? I'm serious. Don't you want to be that great too? One step at a time. We're going to be late. Let's go. Out there. I guess it's really time for us to go. I can't believe we've already been assigned to such an important base.
I returned there several times after that. But I recalled nothing more from my past. I'm sure of one thing, though. There's still hope for us. A way to escape this planet. The power that broken crystal contains is our best chance. All we have to do is find the rest of it. Okay, at this point, I'm honestly certain I know who Ark's voice actor might be. And also, yes, the other guy, Albert, um... There's no denying that he's voiced by Keith Silver Silverstein. <laughs> because I've heard his voice literally recently. Well, not extremely recently. Just, like, back on Friday. Um, the 29th. But yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get these. Okay. And also, finding a way to escape the planet. pretty much level up really fast, so I'll just skip adding skill points and all that. really have much to talk about. I'm just like thinking. Oh yeah, and also the time recording this is 4th of July, which explains why my family's home. Uh. Yeah. Also, because Ark's a pirate class, you can wear pirate gear, obviously. And his weapon's just a regular knuckle, so... just pause like that a lot for some reason. I don't know why. It's a habit. I'm so 
used to like being like forced job already because I I already know where I put all his skills on like in the in the keyboard thingy here. I can't remember what I wanted to talk about, but I can't seem to remember. Like the voice acting, like quest and all that. Even though it's only the beginning of these storylines now, it's still a nice change that um, um, Nexon did. And also, I really do like Arc Story because I really like it. And also, when I first saw the class, I started to wonder. It's like, like one thing I wondered was um. Like, about the high flora wings. Because from, like, the flora backstory, um, the high flora have red wings. Or some form of wings. And the verdant flora use technology to, like, give themselves magic because they were exiled. And their wings are blue. And my original thought it was, don't they always have their wings? like enabled I guess like visible all the time and the answer is no and it's not because Ark's uh half specter as you can tell it's more of a it's like they have the ability the ability to have their wings shown or not depending on how much power they use I guess I think I don't know Let's add these points. Because it doesn't really matter because the skills max out anyway, so... play on Barra and all that. It's so weird playing on a on a more populated server. Like I know why skinny is not as populated as it used to be because the transfer events kinda messed with it too much. Like they kinda messed it up with it, so but honestly I really don't mind because the lag and so many players like there are like it like that's one of those benefits to a uh, low populated server is you know like not too crowded but it does get lonely and if you want to like defeat a boss especially since the harder bosses are getting extremely high hp levels now like yeah And that was a random thought that came to my head. Okay then. And also soon enough, once I don't have um, work to do because I'm taking summer classes, which it explains why I'm busy. I actually plan to not only <coughs> not only stream Maple Story to um, the second closed beta, but to also um, and I'm in this one again, of course. Um,
but to also play more games on Twitch and make it a regular thing. But of course I can't exactly make it a regular thing because I have to have time to do three streams a week. Well, if I... Well, for partner... Partnership. Which I might want to do, but... You know, I'm busy all the time. I just realized I'm done with this quest. Okay. But to be fair, I want to reach that point with Twitch one day. Like, to actually make it a regular thing. But I don't really know yet. I'm still deciding. And of course I can get off Spectre mode. And I, and I just realized that actually makes sense because he doesn't, um... No, I can't disable it. Um... Like, that also made me realize that kind of makes sense why you have, like, a skill to enable and disable Spectre Mode is because he can... Like, at that point, he's able to control it. And I know I'm explaining the story, but I, it doesn't matter. Um... Because I'm pretty sure a lot of you already know the story by now. And also, yes, I'm not going... I'm only going to cover the first... 30 to 40 levels because I don't have time to to level a character up to level 100 just to show like some unique scenes and all that. But I will kind of summarize it as best as I could. And also if I if my voice is kind of cracking, it's because it's kind of dry right now. I'm mostly just saying all this without like drinking water. Which is not good because that's gonna damage my throat so much, but okay. This is going to sound random, but, um... Whenever there's a character who has, like, two different eye colors at once, they, like, I'm easily attached to them. Because it's, uh, well, only if it's played well, like, the tropes played well, instead of, like, being a simple design choice. Like, oh, we just gave them two different eye colors because why not? That's, uh, not a good reason. But if it's, like, played well, in the case of there's a reason why they have, mis like, two different eye colors, it's... It makes it more unique. Um, as you can tell from Ark, the... Yeah, he had... Like, the reason why he has, a uh, different eye colors is because of... The Spectre side of him. And Luminous is another one, but... 
this case is complicated to explain. But I, probably more, probably because I'm more attached to Ark because he's just so adorable. And Luminous is just extremely serious and he, he doesn't have a lot of moments where he like, kind of drops the attitude, I guess. Find this amusing <laughs> and kind of adorable. Of course, the sound has to be extremely loud. <laughs> the, um, sandstorm effects. I guess that's a downside with, like, audio levels in this game. It's like, when you're in story sections, the literal sound effects, or or background music, depending. I forget, I don't have a pet um, to follow me and loot the items. Um, but like, the sound is extremely loud. And I don't know why it does that. It's like, during like the Heroes of Maple update, like, my commentary was so quiet at s some random points, like during the videos. Because, like for some reason, the background audio just like, like, increased and I didn't even do anything like as you can tell because there was at least one moment where I reset it because it was so loud but thankfully I found another way to record using OBS and audacity so okay then so, my internet messed up for some reason, and the game crashed, because the internet went down. Okay, that, um, is lovely. And once again, it's still laggy because this map, sta Sandstorm, is ridiculous. And also, 
I think part of it crashing is also because Barra has so many players in it. Why did I decide to play on this server? Well, it was a secondary choice anyway, so... And I don't want to play on Reboot, because I'm lazy, so... Actually, it's no fun playing on Reboot, so... Well, for some of you guys, yeah, but... For me, nah. I'm not a person who goes for damage half the time. Well, lately I am, because apparently some people don't show up for, um, bossing. So I have to, I have to defeat a boss by myself half the time. But anyways, yeah. Hopefully we don't have any problems here, because I really want to finish this. And it's also a good thing because I've been recording for like an hour. And... Yeah. And part of me is hoping this is being recorded because if not, um... Yeah. But to be honest, I already tested it like a few times to make sure I am recording, so... You know. And also while I was waiting for, um... The recording to work. I mean, the game to go back up, not a recording. Um, I was just browsing on um, Twitter. And what makes me angry about people is when they keep going on with this ridiculous joke that is already long, like, done. Like, the joke's no longer around, and it's, like, really annoying me all the items. I'd rather not get into it because I'd rather save that for the uh, live stream. I plan to do three streams on um, Maple Story 2 if I if I can. Because uh, like the second closed beta is two weeks long. So yeah. So I'll just save all that for like random stuff to talk about. Especially since I, like, technically no one watches the streams. But that's part of the- actually part of the reason is because I don't announce them, which I should, which is my biggest mistake. But I kind of got lazy anyway, so... <coughs> but anyways, um... I can't wait for the second close beta. I know some people are like, oh, why can't they just officially launch the game already? Like, it's getting really tiresome. Like, why? And it's like, some people just don't understand that, like, multiplayer games, you need to do more than one beta. Like, usually games deserve one or more betas, like, period, so, like, it can actually work. I know that because making games, developing them, even if it's a localization, you need to test it to see if it's working. Like, it's always good to double check, and especially if there's like typos or like problems with the localization. Like, you know how games have demos? It's kind of the same thing. I think that's basically the same thing, but the difference is that beta is basically the full game. Well, for an MMO, it's basically like. For MMOs, it's kind of the full game, just like, but with limits. And... It's kind of hard to say for all games, because some betas are just like, for testing purposes, to see if it's working. And doesn't have the full story, so that's mostly what I'm saying. And also, this being kind of filled up. If I press the skill that I put it on, I mean the key I put it on, not the skill, but... Yep. That's what it does. And also there's three more variations, but they come in each job advancement. Yeah. Okay, I'm just wrinkling, but I... Like, why did the game crash? Oh yeah, what I was about to say before the game crash was I'm recording this with OBS and Audacity. Audacity for my commentary because I don't want 
the file to have both of them mixed up by accident. Well, more like when the music gets extremely loud and when I accidentally talk during it, it wouldn't, like, record my voice. Because I don't want to talk during cutscenes or else, you know, it interrupts the dialogue. And also, yes, that, the, the game tends to do that. Like, just, like, put, like, the quest completed notification twice for some reason. Okay. And more story. And hopefully less crashing, please. It only crashed once because of the internet, but you know. And look at what this person does. Honestly, I have no words to say. I'm just kind of tired a little bit. Narks, um, saying that these things are familiar. expressions because they're so adorable. Also, I know this is a random guess, but if you think about it, like, 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 um, like, it's already very clear that the flora, they have, they live long lives. Like, if you, um, play an Ilium and play through his story, he says he's 152 years old, which is technically a child's age in, um, their, um, according to their lifespan. And... Which is kind of weird to say because Ilium's voice is kind of fitting for, like, someone who's, like, a teenager. Okay, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm trying to say that Ark is probably about like 25 if we're talking about like normal like years or something. Of course I'm in this form again. So if I could get this. Ah, there you go. That was basically something I never realized until um like long after, like, I got forced to drop advancement, was that I could, like, if you jump and... Well, it's more like if you jump and press down, you... get this flight kind of effect or something. I don't know what it's called, what it's supposed to be, but... But apparently it took that long just to realize I could do that. 
Which is interesting. <laughs> I shouldn't attack the enemies so many times. Um. Okay. It's so funny interesting, I never knew I could do that. And I think the effect is... Nah. But anyway, it's like the effect when you do that. Well, you can only do it in Spectre mode, as I um, demonstrated. I even try to do it like while regular mode, but you can't. Yeah, you can't. I'm doing it right now. Anyways, what I find interesting is that, um, like the effect itself, it's like, like from how it looks, it's, I guess it's kind of yeah. um, like Ark's wings or something. His high floor, floor and wings, but um, they look look like that in color because obviously he's corrupted by a specter. So kind of makes sense there. I like that skill, even though I don't use it often. Only because my keyboard kind of has a weird layout, so I can't really press the insert key. Like, very much. Okay then. Um, yeah. interesting that all the well not really interesting but it's kind of it's kind of nice that uh, all the maple story classes has like a uh, movement skill like how like with like with most of the classes having a uh, flash jump while the maple classes don't have that but they have um teleportation like a gliding skill, basically. Or a gliding skill, I mean. Like, the, the Demon Slayer and Avenger, Demon Avenger and, um, Ely. <clears throat> and also my throat. Eh. My throat is betraying me. Well, thankfully, I'm recording this, my commentary separately, so it's really useful. no match for us at all. They call this a war for peace? This is no war. It's a massacre. Ark! What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Albert, I can't do this anymore. It's not right. It's not right at all. 
Don't be so naive. Nothing this great comes without sacrifice. And no one said it would be pretty. Now get it together! This is for the greater good. And that proves that Ark was against, um, is clearly against the, um, what they were doing. My memory keeps getting clearer. And as it does, all of my old feelings come rushing back. Everything I fought for was a lie. Was the cruelty ever going to end? Nothing I did seemed to make any difference. I had committed unforgivable acts in the name of peace. The sand has driven away. What is he doing in a place like this? Brigadier General, I have word of the enemy plans. Our intel suggests they'll attack the base tonight. Brigadier General Limbo. Tonight? How? Their resistance fighters are strong. They made it difficult to place our equipment. But now we are prepared to make them another sacrifice toward peace under the high flora.
You've done well. For victory! Glory to the floor. Peace was just a ruse. It was an excuse to conquer and exploit helpless societies. Now the resistance is headed into a trap. I have to warn them. There is such incredible knowledge contained within the Abyssal Source. And soon, it will all be mine. Brigadier General Limbo's true form? Okay then. Well, that image was creepy. Apparently I've gotten used to it. So, um, yeah. I know I say this phrases a lot. Like, this stuttering phrases, but don't judge me. to defeat all the monsters and reach the final stage. So... Now, I must go back up here. Okay then. Uh... Yeah, nothing much else to say. I keep thinking about it, and I might consider playing Kadena and Elium again. Well, the first 40 levels. 
Although I'm not sure if the dialogue's corrected because there were some like dialogue issues where dialogues repeat and are not on the same line. I mean like not on the same dialogue line like it should be. Like you see a character say something but the voice doesn't match but when you go to the next dialogue you hear the voice line of the previous one but it's not on the correct one. Like that happened a few times. Oh my gosh, the lag. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to put sandstorm effects. It's just like... It's lagging so badly sometimes. Of course, when I played it myself, it wasn't lagging that badly, but I think... I think at that point it was only because there were so many players, because... I did start playing, um... Arc when, uh... When it was first released on the 28th, which, which was about a week ago. Like, seven days ago now. Oh yeah, and this skill, the... this one... Apparently, it uses HP. Which is why most of the health potions I have are eas eh, easily drained away, because I don't need them. Well, I mean, um... It drains pretty quickly if you use the skill so many times. Well, in normal mode, Spectre mode doesn't really drain that HP. And also, I really like the fan art related to Ark because the fan art's really amazing. And some of the fan art are, is just extremely adorable, like, Aw, you poor thing! Or something like that. everything going according to plan not one problem I must admit I find this entertaining the vortex from the failed specter ritual has finally dissipated and our scouts report there will be little resistance from the planet's current inhabitants it's good news considering your last attack on the planet was a failure you left an awful lot of loose ends, Limbo. One of my colonels will arrive on the planet soon to ensure everything goes smoothly. Let's hope for your sake that no one interferes this time. We're done here. Glory to the flora! You're not looking too good, friend. Thank you. 
So, you finally realized you need me. This must be something important. Respect and power in me. It's you? Indeed it is. I am part of you now. So don't worry. You can trust me to take over from here. I'll never trust you. Do you want to save your friends or not? If so, you really don't have much of a choice. That doesn't mean I have to give you full control. And I definitely don't have to like what you are. <laughs> I'll use your power this time. They need us. But don't forget that I make the decisions. You don't. here it now has like a an imprint on there yeah which means we can enable and disable the pressure mode on our own free will so it's so laggy can't be held there's so much sandstorm effects and also i think yeah we are getting closer to the animation and there's only two of them in our story. What's interesting is that for Kadena, she actually has, uh, like, well, I, I've only read about it, so I don't know how much of it is true, but from what I heard, it's like, if you, if you fight Magnus, like, one of his modes, like, gives you one of Kadena's animations, if you're playing Kadena. So that's interesting, I think. I don't know, I have never fought Magnus before. There's a number of boss battles I haven't touched upon in this game, and mainly because there's no one to, like, there's no one around to help me, so it's like, yeah. Anyway, Spectre mode. Entertaining. And also interesting enough, um, Ark does have voice lines. Like, his skills does have, a, like, voices in it. Are you kidding me? Um, oh wait. <laughs> I forgot, when you're in Spectre mode, you can't use the key, one of the key command that I put on delete. The delete button, so it's like, 
Yeah. <laughs> Can you do it? I forgot about that. I was like, did the game freeze again? No, it didn't. But like I said, yeah, some of our skills have a voice in it, but it's mostly like grunt and stuff. Because not all his skills have like a full voice line. When you if you compare him with like some of the other classes like Angelic Buster, who has a literal like dialogue line for every one of her skills. I guess you could say it's kind of similar to Mercedes, like, skill dialogue, because it's pretty much similar, like, mostly just sound effects of just, like, attacking noises and very little lines. I'll save you. My old friend. The one from my memories. Though he's much older and wearing a colonel's uniform, how long has it been? He's got a completely different demeanor. Time isn't the only thing that's changed him. War for peace. It was all a lie. What does it matter? It matters to the people of this planet. You know, it's sad to see you like this. After you first betrayed us, I had hoped saving you would change your mind. But it seems I was wrong. Oh well. It's all in the past now, anyway. Step aside, Ark. I'm not here for you. <sighs> Don't side with these barbarians out of some misplaced sense of pity. You can still walk away from this. But if you interfere with the High Flora's mission, I'll have to destroy you. mission? The mission to remake the galaxy in the High Flora image. You may have turned on what we believe, but I didn't. What you believe in and fight for is nothing more than a massacre. It's not my problem if these people refuse to accept the Flora and our ways as superior. <laughs> what happened to bringing peace to Grandis? What happened to making a difference, like we always said we would? How many innocent people have to die in the name of your precious mission? The only thing that you've brought to this war is more hate and destruction. I won't make the same mistake you have. I'd rather die for what I know is right. Right here, right now. This is where it ends. Okay, just 
wait for it to end. You are weak. Accept it. Your grand ideals aren't going to save anyone. Don't get in the high floor's way anymore. This time, I'll make sure you don't survive. We did it, Albert. Yeah, I wasn't sure you'd actually make it. I proved you wrong, didn't I? Now we're headed into real battle instead of drills. We're finally going to make a difference in Grandis. But I'm also a little scared. Sometimes I even have nightmares about it. I'm sure we'll be fine, though. Ark. I swore to protect the people who matter to me, and that includes you. I'll always be there to protect you. Even if you are the worst soldier on the battlefield. <laughs> you think you could survive without me? You won't even make it to Colonel without my help. <laughs> then it's a good thing you aren't going to abandon me out there. Yeah. I'll protect you, too. Just don't mess up too bad. All right. I promise. I thought we were just joking around that day. But he really was always there for me. I have to warn him. You are not to leave the base without approval, Second Lieutenant Ark. I also heard you hesitated in the last battle. It nearly cost us our victory. Victory? More like massacre. How can you say you fight for peace? Do you really think I care about peace? From the moment you joined, I could see your doubt. The unrest in your heart shows in your eyes. I just needed you to prove you were a traitor. And now you'll pay for it. Yeah! Your soul is mine! I did all I could, but it wasn't enough. Maybe it was always meant to end this way. Or maybe it was just me. Is this how it ends? 
I'm sorry. I won't be there for you, Albert. Please forgive me. <laughs> Albert? What is he doing here? Ark, I don't understand. How could you turn on us like this? I thought we wanted the same things. Still, I promise to protect you no matter what. Even if I have to sacrifice everything to do it. I can't let you die. I'll stop the Spectre Ritual. to you me I'm not the one who's changed but you wanted to protect people like you said war for peace was all a lie right I learned something. When you feel powerless, you lose sight of what really matters. The night I decided to leave, maybe I should have talked to you first. But I didn't know how to explain. If I had convinced you to join me, maybe our lives would have turned out differently. I feel so much regret over that. And no matter how hard I try to forgive myself, that pain is always there, haunting me. I'll protect you too, as you disappear into the sandstorm. I remember that one promise.
look at his face. Okay then. Even though this is the second time I'm, I've seen this, like the first 30 levels, that whole thing still made me cry. It was like, oh. It just, it, it got to my, it got to me. It was very, very emotional. <sighs> Anyways, um, we have a few quests to complete while we're here. So basically, I'm gonna stop once I reach Maple World. Like, once I actually get there, I'm gonna stop because I don't wanna keep playing. So that made me cry, just the whole conversation, all that, between Albert and Ark, before, you know, he walks away. It was like, practically the first time I cried during like a Maple, like, a story in this game, since, since forever. I think the last time I cried was, I don't know. I guess around Helium's story? I really don't know. Like I said, it's been a while. And I'm not kidding about that because it certainly has been a while. just had a loss for words because I didn't know what to talk about anymore after just crying about that and all that. But yeah, it, it got to me. It was, it was emotional. Come on, loot. And yes, the game's like, because why not? <laughs> And also, it's not just the game, it's also my computer, because I don't think my computer can handle one... I mean, two or more MMOs at the same time. Not saying it, it's... It's not like the case of, oh, they're all on at the same time. No. It's because I have... Right now, there's two of them installed. I didn't uninstall MapleStory 2 because of the closed beta and all that. The second one coming in... 14 days from July 4th. So that's something. <sighs> but it's also nice to see Arc Story again, like with the volume raised. Because when I, um, Obviously, when I first played it, I realized the audio levels were not correct in the game. It means the background music was louder than the voice acting. And that irritated me because it's, because I was like, how did I fail to notice this? But thankfully, I prepared, I fixed that in advance before um, playing this again. Yeah. Okay.
skipping dialogue, but it's like, it's just a collection quest at this point. Points. Distributed. Come on. Game. Game. And no, it's not laggy. It's, well, it is, but that's only because it's my computer. And also, I think my laptops start only starting to act up because I've been playing a lot of games that literally make my laptop overheat. I think I've done it so many times now that it's starting to wear down. It's starting to catch up to it. And also, I've had this... I think this laptop has been around since 2015, so... Well, it's technically not that old. It's kind of old enough to start breaking, I think. Well, not too much, but still. Well, I'm at least glad I'm going to get uh, a new computer soon for gaming. I'm hoping it has high graphics, as in like NVIDIA graphics card or something. I really hope so, because that's the kind of computer I want. Like, with a good amount of RAM and a graphics card like that. Come on. Okay. And also, I'm able to talk more right now because my family... Technically, my parents aren't home, so that's kind of a good thing. Because I'm always usually interrupted when I'm trying to do something and it's, you know, that kind of moment. And like, people want you to do something and you're technically busy at the moment, so... It's kind of annoying to get interrupted. It's like watching anime. It's like, people want to bother you when you're watching anime. And speaking of anime, um... One of the animes I watched during the spring season has was just finished. And of course, like I said before, I only watch English dub anime unless it's one of the three exceptions. Well, you know what I mean. I prefer English dub over sub. Only right, because I whenever I read something, I always look away from screen because it's it's not fun to read what you're watching. And of course, that's just my opinion. But, um... Yeah, I, I watched the dub version on a lot of animes. And... I don't want to say the name of it because... I might accidentally say direct spoilers to anyone who hasn't seen it. Although, I should have read the manga. Which I might because I want to... Because... Yeah. Point being, I watched the anime. Like, the last episode in the dub version was posted. I mean, released this week. Not post, not just posted, but also released. And the game's lagging. Okay. Um. And remember, it's mostly my computer that's causing it because this game is starting to... Well, my laptop is starting to... Start acting up. And yes, I finished watching the anime, and the ending was interesting. I was a little confused, if I have to be honest, but thanks to um, Twitter, I kind of understood it a little bit because I forgot a lot of details about the earlier parts of the series. So it was kind of a good thing I read posts about stuff like that. Oh gosh. Leaf monster. Oh come on. I do like it. I do like it. I'm like And also I heard there's going to be another season for it, so it's not over yet. And uh, obviously I knew knew it wasn't going to be over yet because there's still some things that are like loose ends. Which reminds me that I should probably read the manga version, but 
I'm lazy. And I'm already kind of reading, like, well, not exactly, but, you know what, never mind. I just think that's important to mention. Come on, come on. Okay. Now! There you go. Oh dear. There's gonna be a uh, elite boss going to spawn. Anyways, what was I saying? Nah, whatever. Basically, I already explained the whole like story there. Anyways, and also there's still a number of animes I'm watching, so that's something. But what I'm like, excited about, which I had to wait a while for the dub version because there's no official date as of July 4th. But it's, um, it's based off a game, but it's mostly based off the manga version of the game, which is kind of weird to say, but it's, it's true. Called Angels of Death. I really love the game, which I might play myself. I haven't played it myself. I've seen a playthrough of it back in 2016, I think, or somewhere around there. I can't remember. But that was when I watched the game. And I cannot wait for the anime adaptation because I really want to watch it. I'm really curious who's going to be the English voice actors for Ray and I think his name's Zach? Not, ex not his real name, but you know what I mean. It's been a while. I'm curious who, um, about the voice actors that Funimation, like, like, yeah, the dub's done by Funimation, but it's all, I don't know how things work. <laughs> it's so confusing. But I am very curious about like, the voice actors. And also, it's been a while, so I, I kind of don't remember a lot about it, but I know enough to know what is pretty much spoilers. But I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to spoil anything to you guys. But I do recommend Angels of Death because it, it's a really it's a really interesting story and I really like it. And also, the fan art is really amazing.
Okay. So, yeah. Everyone's gone to their separate ways, I suppose. And also, I don't know if that, if, um, that whole, like, scene right there was supposed to be taken at face value, but I don't know if it's saying that the specter ritual, like, turning Ark into a specter, like, it being interrupted was the reason why the whole planet's destroyed. I don't even know, but... Yeah. Anyways... Okay then. just remembered no, but the actual first time a class has like voice dialogue was zero alpha and beta beta whatever you want to say like i just realized that so late well to be fair it's seriously been a while and i haven't created a second zero character at all i don't think i can I think I could, but honestly, I don't know. I think it's like one per account. Oh, yes. Okay. So we defeat the bad people. I guess Kadena. I know I'm quiet, but to be fair, I don't I'm not reading the dialogue, so of course I'm quiet. And also, yes, um Ark learning about Maple World. Because apparently every all the grandest classes kind of learn about it and end up going there anyway.
Also, yes, the high flora, despite saying that they're peaceful, are still causing problems for the other people in Grandis as a whole. And I still find it interesting that Grandis, it's actually separated by number of planets. Like, it's not like Maple World where it's just like continents. Why am I going the wrong way? Um. Yeah. And also, naturally, I like all the Grandis classes. Although the one I play the least is Ilium and Kaiser. Because it's... Doesn't interest me enough. Also, that goes to the Vulpus area. And because Ark is half Spectre, he's being affected by the barrier. And Kyle, the current Kaiser, responds like this. <laughs> I still find it sad that not a lot of people care about the story in, well, Maple Story. I mean, there is a good number of people, but it's kind of sad that a lot of you people kind of skip it. It's really good, despite flaws. Now I'm surprised that they don't have portraits of their own, like drawn portraits. And of course assumptions. who basically probably rat out Ilium and his group. Okay then. Also, I haven't finished playing um, my Ilium character to level 100 yet. But I'm assuming like by the time of the Helysium Hil like area is um, when they accept them despite who they are, I guess. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> So I'll let you guys read all this. Oh, second option. Likes. Ah, uh, uh, it's just a notification up here. I, you know, never mind. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um. And yes, um, Darmore is a high flora. If, <laughs> if that's not obvious by now, I'm just randomly saying it because I remember I read it somewhere randomly, and I'm like, oh. This is starting to connect, or something. Okay, 
friend is one of all parties. Save that under time. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. You know something I can't help is like, why is Kyle slash Kaiser Sprite like have like an like a small error right here where my mouse is pointing? It's like it bothers me. <laughs> Anyways, we're almost done to getting into Maple World, so let's just finish this. <laughs>